All of the energy that travels through food chains comes from the sun. Autotrophic organisms like plants and protists convert solar energy into chemical energy through the process of photosynthesis. Because photosynthetic organisms produce their own food, they are called producers. Producers are found at the beginning of food chains and at the bottom of food pyramids. Heterotrophic organisms, like animals and fungi, must ingest or absorb nutrients from the environment. Because heterotrophs consume food energy, we call them consumers. Primary consumers are the first consumers to eat plants or algae. Because primary consumers eat plants, they're classified as herbivores. Secondary consumers eat primary consumers. Because secondary consumers eat meat, they're classified as carnivores. Tertiary consumers eat secondary consumers. The final carnivore in a food chain is known as the apex predator. Only about 10% of the energy found at one trophic level is passed to the next level. Much of the rest of the energy is lost to the environment as heat. The chemical energy that was originally found in the producer population continues to be reduced by a factor of 10 each time it is passed to the next trophic level. Secondary consumers only receive about 1% of the chemical energy that was produced by the plants, and tertiary consumers only receive about 0.1% of that energy. Food chains usually only contain 4 to 6 trophic levels because there is just not enough energy to support longer food chains. Some energy that remains trapped in the tissues of dead organisms is used by decomposers like bacteria and fungi. Decomposers play an important role in every ecosystem.